was working here the other day and it just got too dark to be able to show you what I'm up to. But I wanted you to have a look at this. Everything is just fitted. One of my earlier videos, you can see what this boat used to look like on the inside. I actually went back and referenced it as well, just to put things back together. And this is just sitting right now. It actually laps over that bottom edge of the MDO there. I got a fool with this bulkhead here. It can't stay like that. This is gonna stay at least to here and it gets notched back like this and straight down. And then I gotta figure out what I can do down here because there is a, this is a settee here and there's a mattress and I can't have something here that's gonna, you know, you're gonna be bouncing off of it while you're sleeping. That's not a good thing. So I gotta, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna deal with that and I don't know yet. So there's a uh, sliding doors here. This is just open storage in the middle. This the lower area is actually a shelf with a, there's a teak rail that goes along the front and it goes all the way to there. There's also a piece of teak trim and then the back of the settee hinges off of that shelf. Um, there's also uh, a couple of sliding doors that go in this area and there was a piece of teak like that in the original boat. I have to go through my pile of leftover material that I removed from the boat and see if I can find those pieces. I'm kind of wondering if maybe they are lost and I might have to do something else there. So my project for today is, I'm jumping into this side, there's a piece laying there that's not quite cut to fit, templated off the original material, there's another little piece sitting down there. So I'm going to clear this area out, move this saloon table out of here completely, probably put it in the V-berth, and I'm going to fit these just like I did on the other side. And then from there I can start installing them attaching everything. This is going to end up with an inch of insulation. It does hold a little bit of R value. It's like three point something per inch. I'm trying to uh, make it a little bit warmer in the winter and a little bit cooler in the summer. So I'm not just using it to keep the condensation down. So I got to double tab everything before I can actually uh, start insulating. Uh, I was at work. Um, I left because so I was getting rained on. It's not supposed to rain today, so I'm gonna spend a couple hours here doing some work. And then, so I've just started the Dickinson diesel heater. It's not really making any heat yet, but it's getting there. Uh, the fuel's off right now. It's just warming the burner pot. And when it warms up, I'll turn that on. Because this is the weak link. Everything in the system is done quite well. I put a, just a touch of a flare to stop that from leaking for now, but I need to cut it back and install these fittings and do a much more uh, professional installation in there. So the tank is nearly empty. There's probably, oh, the barb fitting sticks up into the tank, probably about an inch or so. So the other thing I'm doing to burn the fuel down in this tank so that when I take this apart, it's not, uh, not quite as much of a mess. And when I install this, I also have the option to a secondary valve here maybe so I can shut this off from the other end if need be. Those handrails for that shelf I pointed out over there and then this other piece here you see the screw holes that's for the hinge that mounts along that edge right there for the back of the settee. So I'm going to get going on these things. So it's raining outside today. I'm still getting a little bit of moisture coming through to seal up the rest of the penetration, that should go away. So I believe I showed you this arrangement last week. I was beginning to fit these upper uh, lockers and shelf. This piece here, you can see all the screw holes in it and the slot in the back. And that goes right on the end of this lower shelf here. Once I trim this back, fit everything. Here is the back rest for the T, I drilled a bunch of holes just for ventilation. And these are all gonna get the treatment that Boatworks today does, two or three coats of epoxy and then layers of varnish on top of that. 
Uh, so here's this T drop board back in place. I've got a couple of hatches. I'm going to add a third one over here. I was thinking about it the other day, but I wanted to make sure that it would work with this application when it does. This piece T here, slot in the back, is just the front edge here. Uh, retains the cushion. See, I had to cut the bottom of this bulkhead a little. You see, I left that little point come all the way down. And it will interfere with the mattress. It's going to have to come out. And I'm thinking something like this curve here in reverse, perhaps, because I can get those inside and outside corners and teeth there if they're available. So I might come down just below the bottom of that corner, right there, and do a radius and then a return. And then try to bring that down as far as I can. So I want to retain much structure as possible and this is the the port side again I think you've seen that sorry the light is not in a good place there's access there another another hatch to that locker and then this section this opens up into a double and there was an extra piece of material in here I probably need to add it back in but this piece here Fixes directly on the back of that, in that groove, and that allows this shelf to catch the corner of this. Slides on that this piece that retains the mattress on the port side. This whole panel slides forward to access those two openings there. Just like that. So this actually opens up pretty far. To create a big double berth and that metal leg here just mounts on the bottom of that corner and it flips up to get it out of the back. And then just like over here on starboard, there is another piece like this with a groove. You can see all those screw holes. That was the piano hinge mounts on the back of that shelf. And this piece here next to my box light is the back for that seat. Below this shelf, this stringer, you want to get to these, open the front up, place any rotten wood, and uh, last them back together. Yeah, so we're just going to back up, harden the loose pieces just sitting there. But uh, so once over, I can't even get far enough away from this thing. But the uh, these are back, not, not mocked up. These are this is the act. They're all going to be put away. I'm not going to give an opportunity to be able to rot again. All right, I'll let you go for the day. I got to shut this thing down. And it takes a little while to cool. Headed. Definitely coming along. Hey guys, have a good night.